Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So today we're going to try and find the best drying towel for drying your vehicle once you're done washing it. Now over 20 years ago, the thing that was used mostly was chamois. Remember those? Well, those have a tendency to scratch the finish because the material isn't that soft. So that's a thing of the past. We have since moved on to the latest and greatest technology for uh, drying and absorbing the water from vehicles, and that's microfiber drying towels. So today we have five of the best towels on the market. We're going to go through each and every one of them, show their differences, talk about price, value, the uh, quality of fabrication, and you're going to see them uh, in a demo, of course, in on a wet car. So we're going to see what qualities they have and well, ideally pick a winner. I'm also going to give you some tips and tricks on how to improve the efficiency when you're driving your vehicle and of course how to take care of the drying towels so they're always running at optimal performance levels. So you know the drill without further ado stay tuned let's go ahead and start the show so hey guys i'm pan welcome to the show i hope you guys are having a great day so let's dig right into it we're gonna try and find which is the best microfiber drying towel before we do so if you haven't done so yet make sure you click the subscribe button that's found under this video and that way you'll subscribe to my channel never miss my future videos and you'll continue to learn more about car detailing so all the products equipment tips tricks and techniques also follow me on my Instagram page. It's gonna be pretty awesome because you never know what I'll release on there. And of course, as usual, don't worry guys, all the links to the equipment, tools, and products that I'm presenting in this video will be linked in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And uh, before we get to the towels, if you wanna encourage my channel and wanna wear my merchandise, I'm gonna leave the link in the description as well for you guys to check out my t-shirts, my hoodies, my long sleeve shirts. I got women's shirts as well now. Uh, different logos, different styles, different colors. This is the most popular one. This is the uh, Pan the Organizer. Keep it tight, keep it clean shirt. So check those out. Okay, today we have a selection of five microfiber towels that are in my detailing arsenal. And these are, in my opinion, some of the uh, five best ones out there. If there are any more that you guys love to use, let me know in the comment section by dropping a comment. But let's go over them. I'm going to use a uh, trusty sheet that I had done because all of them have different properties and technologies. So let's start with the first one here on the left. This is the uh, latest microfiber drying towel from the rag company. This is the gauntlet. So the, uh, it comes in a 20, 30 inch in size. You have many different sizes available. The blend itself is a 70% polyester, 30% polyamide. So this is a 70, 30 blend, as we say. The uh, weight itself of the microfibers is 900 GSM. So very thick and plush. The uh, border or edging, they call this the butter soft microfiber suede border. So very soft, won't scratch the vehicle's finish. It's 100% Korean split microfiber, hybrid twist loop style materials. And uh, the price hovers, of course, depending on when we're talking. But uh, during this video, roughly $18.95 US dollars, depending on which size you get. All of these, by the way, have some sort of twisted loop microfiber technology, which is the most absorbent form of uh, microfiber that's out there, which is perfect for drying vehicles. So if we move on to the second one, another selection from the rag company, this one is the double twistress. Uh, the size is 20 by 24 inches. Again, many different sizes available. Uh, the blend is 70-30, so 70% polyester, 30% polyamide. The weight itself is 850 GSM. The border edging, once again, is the butter soft microfiber suede border. The material, well, it's made from 100% Korean split microfiber, and the price per unit is roughly $12.95 US dollars, so this makes it the less expensive towel of this review. Next, we move on to the uh, third towel, another selection from the Rag Company. By the way, the Rag Company is one of my favorite companies for microfiber towels because they're not only one of the biggest producers of detailing microfiber towels in the world, but they make some super high quality stuff. I also made a series of videos with uh, Levi, one of their experts 
on uh, how to uh, demystify all microfiber towels. So uh, we presented pretty much everything you need to know about them. Check out that series uh, in, on my channel as well. Super interesting. So this one here, it's the, uh, the rag company. We call this the Twist and Shout Towel. This one here is way, way bigger. So 25 by 36 inches. Again, a 70-30 blend. So 70% polyester, 30% polyamide. The uh, weight itself is 550 GSM. The border or edging is again their butter soft microfiber suede border. So always super soft for the, uh, the finish of your paint. The material made from 100% Korean split microfiber, twist, loop, weave, and the price per unit at this moment is roughly $24.95 US dollars. So of course, the bigger the towel, the more material you have, the higher the price for purchase. The fourth towel is the uh, Gion Q2M Silk Dryer. So another great towel. Uh, the size that I have is a 20 by 22, but again, they have different sizes. The uh, blend, again, a constant thing, is a 70% polyester, 30% polyamide. The weight itself is 570 GSM. And again, the material here is, they don't mention it on the website, but seems to be some sort of a uh, microfiber suede edge, so it won't scratch the finish. The material, again, is 100% Korean split microfiber in a twist loop weave. And the price per unit, depending which size you're getting, is roughly $15.95 US dollars for a 20 by 22, or $26.99 US dollars for a 36 by 28. The last, but not the least, is the CarPro Dehydrate Microfiber Drying Towel. So again, a twisted loop weave, 100% Korean um, material, split microfiber, we're talking a 80% polyester, 20% polyamide in this one, so a bit different blend. The weight is 540 GSM, so this is the thinnest of the bunch. Uh, the border edging, again, seems to be a microfiber suede edge. They don't mention it on the website, but that's what it seems to be. And uh, the price, again, very well priced at $18.99 USD for a 20 by 20 or $37.99 USD for a 28 by 40 so as you can tell, the prices vary. Uh, they're pretty much constructed all with high grade microfibers from South Korea, which is probably the place that creates the best blends of microfibers in the world. And uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and test the efficiency. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray the, uh, the vehicle that has been already washed, but we're gonna apply some water. We're gonna do Section passes with each microfiber, so we're gonna dry the hood. We're gonna come in for some close-ups to see the efficiency of water being picked up. And then we're gonna dry and move on to the second towel. So we're gonna respray, we're gonna dry with the towel, look at the effects, and so on and so forth. By the way, one quick tip. We're gonna talk about the efficiency of microfibers, but before you start drying them, I recommend that you already soak them in water and wring them out so they can be damp because a damp towel, believe it or not, has a better efficiency of, dry, of drying when you're drying your paintwork. So a wet towel or a damp towel always works better. And stay tuned all the way till the end of the video because I'm gonna be giving you more tips on not only how to take care of your towels when you're done using them, but also how to increase the efficiency of drying with a quick pro tip. So let's go ahead and start the demo. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, start rinsing the vehicle down. So as you're gonna tell, very important, one major difference when drying a vehicle to make it easier is to have some sort of protection applied on your paintwork, whether it's a wax, a paint sealant, or a ceramic coating. I talk about the differences between the three forms of paint protection on my channel, so go and check that video out. But as we can tell here, the rag company, The Gauntlet, did an awesome job, flawless performance to pick up all the water. And uh, again, always make sure your towels are damp when using them. You're going to see it's going to increase the efficiency while drying. So next up, we have the Rag Company Double Twistress. So twisted loop drying towel, like pretty much all of the towels in this challenge, as they are the most absorbent form of microfibers. Uh, again, flawless job here, picking all the water up. By the way, uh, again on my channel, I have a series of uh, six episodes on demystifying microfiber towels, uh, a series of videos that I did with Levi Gates, a good friend of mine, and he's an expert over at the Rag Company. So we spoke about everything concerning microfiber towels. So the uh, thickness, plushness, the uh, weave pattern that's inside there, the types of microfibers, how to care for them, um, basically everything you need to know, the GSMs, what does everything mean and what do you look for? 
So the uh, previous towel that we just saw was the uh, twist and shout by the rag company. Another flawless performance picked up all the water. Now we have uh, the uh, Gion Q2M silk dryer. Uh, this one struggled a bit more to pick up the water. Um, not by a crazy amount. It still did a good job, but just on this hood section, hopefully you can tell on camera, there's a bit of uh, water left over. So a double pass will be necessary. Most probably because of the uh, thickness or grams per square meter, the GSM. Uh, the weight isn't as big as the ones from the rag company, so it won't pick up as much water. Same thing with the uh, CarPro Dehydrate, although it's a very good drying towel once again, just like Gion. As you can tell, there's a bit of water left on the surface, so a second pass is necessary. Okay guys, so now is the time to pick a winner. As hopefully you saw on camera, uh, they all performed quite well. There were some slight differences and uh, I'll explain why I uh, did this ranking. So if I had to pick one, the winner in my opinion is the Rag Company Double Twistress. So this one here is just the perfect size for me. So not too big, not too small. Very easy to manage when you're wringing it out. So it's not too much of an effort. Uh, didn't leave any water streaks on the hood while doing it. The price, this is the less expensive one of the bunch. So the value is tremendous. The quality of uh, fabrication, of course, is A1 like all of the Rag Company microfiber towels. So uh, yeah, this one here is my number one pick. In second place is the newest drying towel over at the Rag Company. This is the Gauntlet. Again, flawless performance, so didn't leave any streaking uh, on the paintwork. The uh, size is very manageable. It has a thicker GSM, so it becomes heavier as you wet it, uh, but the price is quite uh, decent. The build quality is fantastic, and the drying performance is very good. In third place, this one here is the Twist and Shout from the Rag Company. So uh, this one here is the biggest one. So for me, the only downfall or the downside is that it's too big. So it becomes too heavy when you're using it, but it didn't leave any streaking. Uh, it does a quick job. For those of you who are looking for large towels, this would probably be the pick for you. Again, great quality uh, of assembly, a bit more expensive, but again, because it is, of course, a way bigger towel compared to its competitors, but it had a flawless performance. So the Rag Company Twist and Shout in third place. This, by the way, is not a sponsored video. I was not paid by any of these brands, obviously, because this is a versus competition. Uh, okay, so tied for fourth place is the Gion Q2M Silk Dryer and the CarPro Dehydrate. So they're pretty much the same size. They're uh, pretty much made the same way. Uh, and yeah, the build quality is very good. The price is decent. However, hopefully you saw on camera, it did leave a bit of water residue behind or little streaks of water. Nothing alarming because these, again, they're in my detailing arsenal and they're a great microfiber drying towel. So if you have them, they're absolutely good. No problems there. But the ones from the rag company did perform a lot better to absorb more water. Uh, this maybe has something to do with both of these towels. If we look in the back, they're not lined by microfiber. So they seem to have less material compared to the, uh, the ones from the Rag Company, which are dual-sided microfibers. So these only have one side to absorb, and that probably plays a role in how efficient they are at drying. And now, for the uh, tips and tricks that you guys have been waiting for, the first one that I will recommend to you is, of course, well, how do you maintain your towels? It's very important to take care of microfiber towels correctly. I do have a tutorial on my channel on how to properly care for them, so I'll leave the link in the description under the video. But essentially, what you'll want to do is use a quality microfiber detergent or something that's free of any dyes, any bleaches, any fabric softeners, uh, all in liquid form. Never use powdered detergents with with microfiber towels and uh, again no bleach uh, no scents no perfumes no dyes and uh, free of any fabric softeners because you don't want to clog the pores so when I'm done detailing a vehicle I take all of my microfiber towels and I immediately wash them because especially if you're using any chemicals with them when you're drying such as a drying aid you don't want to coat the fibers and leave them coated for a long time so you want to take care of them properly also to increase the efficiency, so another quick pro tip, when you're drying your vehicle, if you wanna make the drying process even quicker, what you can do is use a drying aid. So a drying aid is some sort 
of a quick detail spray. There are many, many ones on my channel. Uh, these are just a few examples. So PNS Beadmaker, everybody knows that I absolutely love this. This will not only give you UV protection, but great gloss and slickness. And if you spray this on your wet paint, lightly of course, and you start drying, it's gonna make the drying process a lot better and it's gonna leave a streak-free finish and prevent water spotting too, if you do have water spotting issues in your area. Uh, another one is the Auto Fanatic 007, the Gloss Enhancer. Basically, any quick detail spray that you guys want to use, it greatly increases the efficiency when drying a vehicle. So that's a quick pro tip. And also, uh, if you want to make sure that there are there is no standing water left in grills, door sills, door jams, so on and so forth, so in intricate areas where microfibers wouldn't absorb, you can use something like a car dryer or something like a leaf blower. So I have a review on my channel. This is my Ego 580 CFM, uh, well, portable cordless dryer. So this one here will help remove anything that you have left over in your grills, mirrors, uh, the door sills, door jams, all that good stuff. So that's pretty much it. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Again, guys, I'll make sure to leave the links to the uh, products in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. Make sure you help encourage my channel. If you like this video, smash the thumbs up button to show me your support. If you haven't done so yet, I highly recommend that you click the subscribe button that's found under this video. That way you'll subscribe to my channel, never miss my future videos. So you're gonna continue to learn more about car detailing, all the products, equipment, tips, tricks, tools, and techniques. Uh, also check out my merch store if you want to grab a t-shirt, different logos, sizes, t-shirts, so on and so forth. I'll leave the link to that as well. So thanks for being there guys. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.